So indeed, uh, Hilbert, Hayway, Payano all found continuous functions that map line segments onto a positive two-dimensional area with no holes in it. And it's also true that by adding elbows to, uh, to certain uh, polygons, you can, for instance, approach a circle. So let's just trivially demonstrate that. Uh, unfortunately, um, there, it, it is not the case that if you add elbows to a so-called space filling curve, uh, that it go to a, a useful limit. And we'll see that here. Uh, this is the so-called Payano curve, quote unquote. This is the popular picture of it. It does not converge. Okay, and I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you why in a little while here. Uh, so it turns out it, it's okay because we can take, we can bend a straight line into, say, a circle by a continuum of hinges. Okay, so if we just uh, uh, do this, uh, the obvious thing. So now, that is how you fill space, namely with a continuum of hinges uh, like this. Oh, sorry, wrong, uh, wrong number here. Uh, come on. Whoa, okay, so uh, can anybody, everybody see this? Okay, uh, really. So now watch that line, and it's going to bend everywhere, uh, and so the dimension is continuously rising. So it reaches you know, two dimensions continuously. Now, there's something terribly wrong with this picture, and that is that you can see it. Namely, any, any curve that has less than two dimensions has zero area, and so it shouldn't show up. In other words, if you can see a line segment, you've drawn it wrong. <laughs> so, uh, so what we'll do here is, uh, where is my, uh, where's my notebook? Uh, can we just do, this is actually quite strange. Uh, okay, there it is. Where in the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry, but, but my, uh, uh, this is really, r what is going on? This, this, this booth is cursed or something. Um, I absolutely have no idea what is going on here. Um, Go, 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 go. Uh, I just got had by the UI. Okay, so here is how you draw a zero area curve. Namely, you, uh, you draw it as the boundary of, uh, uh, oh, I see, you see how that switched like that? That's what's going. Okay, so this is, this is two dragons, uh, uh, basically nose to tail. Now, what you should have seen in that other video was blank screen and sudden appearance of black dragon and then blank screen, but that would have been very unsatisfying. On the other hand, you can see it this way, and boy, I have to do this complicated switch right here, uh, and I have to go up here to the window, and I have to say this every time I want to do this. Oh, this is a pain in the tush. Okay, so now the question is, what was that? Okay, and, and the answer is, well, that was supposed to be what happened at the magic moment of two-dimensionality, and of course, what should have happened is, both the blue interior and the white exterior should have been replaced by whatever color boundary. And uh, that requires, however, a continuum of pixels, so I just cheated, and I just did this, this funny looking polygonal thing. But just to show you that I can evaluate this function anywhere, okay, I took 2,049 2, samples of this dragon, which is normally 2,048, so you get this crazy beat frequency. Okay, so now the question is, what will it look like what should this thing look like? Should it be a blue haze when we reach 2D? And the answer is no, it should look like red polka dots. And that sounds ridiculous, but what that says is the boundary could have been anything, and until now we couldn't see it. So it might have been you know, red, and white, red and white points, which when you scrunch them to 2D, suddenly you've got uh, red polka dots. Now, I want to really belabor this by taking the Sierpinski curve that goes uh, <clears throat> takes a straight line and runs it all the way up to a square, and it goes through what I would call a melted snowflake curve, which is like on a diagonal, so a triangle. And before that, it even does this interesting uh, Cantor set of, of uh, regular uh, octal flakes. And, uh, and now watch very closely as I run two of these things side by side, one sampled an octave more frequently than the other. And this, is, this will show you why th these things don't go to limits. Uh, watch closely those two things. Watch what they do. Uh, right? One, one goes white and one goes solid. 
Okay, so the question is, uh, I have to go through this pain in the tush here every time. Um, I have to say window G13. Anyway, um, watch uh, what happens. What should really happen there? Okay, one went solid, one went white. They're both wrong. Okay, so what should we actually see? Uh, and that is, well, let's we'll watch this thing here. Okay, so it should go like this, but then we get the sudden appearance of the black dragon, namely that. Okay, <laughs> now you say, wait a minute, I, I, I just splice that in there, right? And no, watch, watch how that thing got there. Okay, uh, and the, uh, uh, here we go again, uh, window, this is such a pain in the tush. Okay, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to take a finite number of these invisible uh, zero-dimensional boundary points, and I'm going to turn them into gigantic two-dimensional black and white pixels. Okay, so that should look like this. Okay, and see the black and white pixels? Now watch, watch carefully. Oh, now wait a minute, I don't think we're allowed to use this image. But try to ignore, try to ignore that, okay. And, and just see how the boundary somehow sneaks in and just takes over everything. Okay, so uh, anyway, we'll get rid of this here and go back to here. And we can say window, uh, and whoa, there's no window. <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, let's see, where's my, oh, there it is, okay. Uh, now, uh, sort of changing the subject a little bit, the popularizers of these so-called space filling curves are constantly striving for self-avoiding curves. That is complete nonsense. A space filling function hits a dense set of, uh, oh, am I over already? Oh, can I, ju can I just do, uh, or is this a result of all the screwing around that, that uh, Gary and I did? Okay, uh, okay, so here, here, here you go. I'll just cut, cut, cut to, the choice, to the chase. Here is, uh, right here. Uh, Let's see, so this is a viral video, a truly viral video uh, of its own start button having 729 babies, okay, which is this. Uh, watch that thing there. See, there's a start button, and it does this, and there's 729 babies, and there's this capsid of many colors, because it's a virus, and, uh, and yeah, this is insanely short. Uh, hope, I hope it get all this, I have a lot of videos, let's try to get them into the, the conference uh, YouTube afterwards, maybe. Okay, that's, that's my talk. Great, thank you, Bill.